Hey everybody, welcome back to Half Done Outdoors. I'm Keith. Today we're going to build a DIY sled cover. The ones that come with these sleds, and with most sleds, they don't fit all your stuff in it. Um, especially when you got bigger stuff in here. Alright, so this is the sled cover that came with this sled. and It's down on the other side, and as you can see, we're not even close to coming down on this side and covering it. And I want it all covered because I towed this sled behind my snowmobile. Um, so we're going to build a cover that will actually fit this sink. Alright, so the supplies that we're going to need, we're going to use some uh, putty scrapers. Going to need a tarp. Got this grommet insulation kit for tarp. That was noisy. Got a bungee cord. Got some scissors. And we got some super glue. So now that we're ready to get going, let's get our favorite beverage opened up here. Mountain Dew for the win. Fell on the ground, so it's not one to open up the best. Don't let it roll off your uh, your rack or your table while you're uh, trying to film. All right, let's get to work on this thing. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our tarp opened up and kind of lay it on here. See if we're even close to the right size. All right, so we're a little bit big on everything here. That's not going to be a problem. We're going to trim this tarp down and then we're going to add some grommets to it and get this the edge doubled back over so that we don't have any tearing problems or anything like that. Alright, so I'm going to leave this just a little bit big. I've got it set up on that side to where the grommets are just barely underneath here. And then I'm going to mark this side about where I want it. Um, I'm going to leave it a little bit big because I don't care if it's a little bit loose over all the top of my stuff. Uh, but I do want it so it's not back here dragging on the ground and doing that kind of thing. Alright, so when Harbor Freight built this tarp, they were really nice and they folded it right here. So we have a pretty straight line that we're going to follow to cut this. Um, so we're going to get this cut. I'm going to show you what we're going to do on the edge to hold it back together and to uh, get those grommets put in it. All right, now that we got that cut, we're gonna get our grommets out and we're gonna put them in along here. I'm gonna measure it out. That's one thing I forgot to mention is you'll need a tape measure and a hammer. Um, it comes with a little block in there, but I'm gonna use this wooden block because I think it'll hold up a little better than what comes in the kit. But I'm gonna grab my tape measure. We're gonna get this measured out and fold it over so that we can get the grommets in it. All right, so the current grommets on it, they're all 18 inches apart. I want at least double that, so we're going to go 9 inches. We're going to get this marked out. So this says put your strike plate under here. We're going to do it as the instructions say for the first one. And then put your hole punch over that. So just strike it with a hammer and it'll punch a hole. Which it definitely did that. Alright, so we got this grommet on the bottom. We have this. Going to place all that together. Then you use this one, put it on top. And it says to hit it until they are fastened together. All right, I don't see why that won't work. All right, so I got the other side done. I'm just gonna come along in between the rest of the rivets on the existing tarp, and I'm gonna add them in every nine inches. All right, so then grab your bungee cord. I bought this at Harbor Freight. It's a 25 foot long bungee cord. We're gonna cut it, and we're gonna get it put into our tarp here. All 
All right, so just like that, we're gonna get it uh, weaved throughout here. We're gonna leave our hook on one end so that we don't pull it all the way through. But I'm really good at making a mess and that's what I got here. So I'm gonna take the next 25 minutes, get this untangled. Boy, that took forever. All right, I'm gonna pull this all the way to the other end as I go. I'm going to leave this hook on this end. All right, so we're about done with this project. We're going to spread it over the top here. We have our lovely assistant. Come hold it on the front there. Just hold it down right there. going to get it all down around the edge. We're just going to tighten up the bungee cord. so there you have it we have our cover made we do have some extra tell right here that are left over from our component tight we are going to come in and trim those back a little bit um, but I am going to leave probably a foot to 18 inches on it that way I can adjust it accordingly that way if I got more stuff in there or whatnot I can tighten it or loosen it and when I'm ready to go I can just take it the end of it tuck it up underneath into the side the sled and we'll be good to go but I think that's going to work out really well when we get there we can just take it off well this is making it a pain because I have some carabiners on here so I can hook multiple sleds together not a big deal But it'll come off like that. Then when I'm ready to go, 
and just stretch it right back over the top of it. Not a big deal at all. Just like that. Then we're not fighting trying to keep this uh, strap down. Get the ends from flopping up and getting snow in there anyways. I think this will work out really good for us. We're going to build a couple more for our other sleds for the ones that we put behind here and that. Uh, that way if it's snowing or something out on the ice too, we can throw these back on, not fill our sleds full of snow. Um, I think it'll work out really good. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate it.